Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Sunset Vista, and today we are continuing the road. Back to that again. We are continuing the road to World War Two Zombies by continuing on the World at War game and um, for you guys today. Now we've already recovered Nakda and Turn, so we're going ahead and we're covering uh, Baruch. Then we'll cover Shinonuma uh, and finally Doris. If we four kind of go on well, oh hey, <laughs> if we four go on well, then we're going to cover the uh, other zombies. Maybe extra zombies just because obviously Sledgehammer are taking over the next game. And it will be only fitting to do that. Come on, buggy! Uh, in Nakda and Turn video, if you didn't watch that, then the link to the video will be down in the description, uh, so make sure you go check that out. But as I said, this is without doubt, well, pushed out then. This is without doubt my favorite zombie map in the game, and possibly. I actually prefer this version to the Baruch on uh, Black Ops 3. The forest in this one, the background forest, is, in my opinion, a lot more scary um, than it is on the remake. See that guy last time will pop up up here. And we'll grab the MP40 off the back. I think what I liked about uh, World at War Zombies was the fact that the maps were actually in game on multiplayer. Now, obviously, that done Totem was Airfield, Baruch was Asylum, uh, and obviously, oops, and Darice was Nightfire. Also, on the multiplayer version of World of War, the multiplayer maps also were kind of a remake from the campaign in uh, World of War. It is one of my favourite uh, Call of Duty games at present. Uh, can it be beaten? Possibly not. Come on, a nuke. And we can jump through and get into the box. No, we can't. Now, as I noted previously in the previous video, also, I actually made a remake. I was in my cream, it made me a map on Call of Duty World at War. And uh, basically, I remade this room uh, as part of the the map, which was good. Um, what I think I'm doing next is posting that up uh, for content uh, for a video after this one. Oh crap. Ah, I forget about freaking two hit. And I forgot about no joke. Oh no, oh no. It's not going to be a high round attempt, it's not going to be some fancy. Fancy schmancy sitting in a corner kind of thing. We're gonna go more for uh, me talking and basically just gameplay in the background for y'all to look into. I wouldn't mind making a uh, a challenge map on Black Ops 3, which I might kind of do tomorrow. Maybe something to kind of. There we go. Um, now we're gonna grab the gooer and we'll stay out here for as long as possible. Um, so yeah, the idea for the, the challenge map will be big. It will be weapons. Again, what I'll do is I'll rattle through this. I'll edit this out. Uh, kind of watch a few tutorials. You now see what see what we can do. Um, now, kind of jumping back onto World War Two uh, zombies. A few more teasers in regards to zombies pretty soon because we're kind of getting what is it? Like September. So we're only really two months away basically. So hopefully. Um, I'll be getting booked off work so I can do kind of a bit of a release day kind of gameplay for you all. Uh, get into the power room, whack the power room, get the box. Now, I'd say sit here, but again, I don't want it to be kind of. Uh, when Radiant Black came out for Black Ops 3, uh, I was all over it, you know, I got it out, downloaded it straight away, had a mess around. And obviously that'll be it. Like I said before, it's not much of a high round gameplay. It's more of just me kind of showing the map, getting a feel for World War Zombies, and obviously kind of putting a bit more information out there in regards to the zombie game. The party on this street. Open this. Turn this on. Grab this. Not the last guy. Not the last guy either. Rig and wonderful! Boom! But look, just look outside the map, it's beautiful. It's such an old game. It's this, I reckon this is more creepy 
Then the Black Ops 3 remake to <laughs> Oh, they're part of the bards. Oh, damn! Look at that guy! <laughs> uh, if you didn't see it, obviously what, basically what I mentioned was um, I'm looking for something more gritty, gory. Basically what World what War Zombies was because I think this kind of game suited the zombie genre more than um, more than it did because on the new one it's it's too it's too much in a style of it's just normal streets this is a normal universe ish where this one it's you know it's abandoned buildings it's broken down stuff and it's uh, it's a lot more gritty it looks more it suits the more zombies it suits the, uh, the zombie kind of universe a lot better just because of the fact that you know, it's abandoned. If what you see in zombie movies, you don't see freaking floating cars and apothecary servants and whatnot. You could implement just like a hard mode uh, in the next zombies. Uh, basically, you have a small house, something like this, and basically all you do is you kind of just you know, it's endless wave as it is at the moment. But there's no objective. Basically, it's how long can you survive in the same position over and over again? Okay, guys, we're going back the window. Yo. Of the, the Rook Sprinter, oh, god damn horrendous, look at him go. Okay, apparently ray gun shots in the face don't even work. Um, but guys, I'm going to wrap it up there guys. Um, like I said, it wasn't more of a high round attempt. It was more just uh, talking to you, talking about the map, talking about the new game coming out. Um, so if you have enjoyed today's video, uh, again, nothing special, but it puts something out there for you guys. So warm up game. Uh, for you know, World War 2 zombies so if you do have enjoyed the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below most importantly smash that subscribe button on my channel uh, for more daily content and until next time until next time until next time from this side of the sunset as always my name is Sunset Vista peace out